So I have been cleaning out my makeup drawers and now I need to go through all of my tinted moisturizers and daily moisturizers. I have so many of these, most of which I don't use. So I'm going to show you what I have, what I'm getting rid of, what I like and don't like, and tell you a little bit about everything. So let me just go ahead and start with my regular daily moisturizers. Now I'm not talking about my nighttime creams or my eye creams, anything like that. These are just the ones that I wear during the day with SPF in them. But this one is a sample. It's a deluxe sample from Lancome. This is their Absolute Premium. And this is just a really, really nice, luxurious, creamy feeling moisturizer. I absolutely love this. It has SPF 15 in it. It was a nice size sample, but this stuff is so freaking expensive. I will never end up buying the full size of this. It's just way beyond my budget. From Neutrogena, this is their Rapid Wrinkle Repair Moisturizer. They have a whole line and they have like a daytime and a nighttime. I only picked up the daytime. It has SPF 30 in it, but this stuff has retinol in it, which is great unless you have super, super sensitive skin. I cannot use this. It even says on here to like start out using it every other day and build up a tolerance to it. I started using it once a week and couldn't handle it. It's just I just can't, my skin is too sensitive, which is such a bummer because I've heard so many great things about this. So if you have super sensitive skin, this will not be the one for you. Otherwise, you might want to give it a try. It gets great reviews and it's a drugstore item. Also from Neutrogena, this is their Spectrum Plus Advanced Sunblock Lotion. This is SPF 100, which I think is overkill. I think past, you know, over and over you hear past like 30, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But I still feel better using something that says 100 on it. <laughs> so this is what I use if I know I'm going to be out in the sun all day, you know, going to the beach or going to some sort of an event, a barbecue, whatever. Then I slather this on. But it is that kind of heavy zinc feeling, you know. Not to say that it doesn't blend into your skin well, but it is definitely a more heavy dude beauty moisturizer. Another zinc one. This one is from 100% Pure. 100% Pure is a great company. I love most of their products, but this one was just... I never ended up using it because it just felt too thick and too hard to spread and blend into my face. And it just, I don't know, I just i just couldn't get into this one. This is from Olay. This is the Complete All Day Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Uh, this has SPF 15 in it. They have one for like combination skin and I don't know, normal skin. This one is the Sensitive. And it's just a nice lightweight moisturizer. This is my, definitely my backup go-to moisturizer. If like my skin's been breaking out or something and I want to go back to my products that I know work with my skin, then I go back to my Olay. Recently I picked up this one from Kula. This is their cucumber moisturizer and it just smells so fresh, like freshly cut cucumbers and it's very lightweight, a thin runny consistency. I just absolutely love this for summertime and you can layer it because it's not heavy and this is an organic brand. I just, I'm really, really loving this. Moving on to my tinted moisturizers. I have another one from 100% Pure. This is the Fruit Pigmented Tinted Moisturizer. And this, I believe, is SPF 20, although it doesn't actually say on here. This is in the color White Peach. This is their second to lightest color, and it's still a little bit dark for me. So that's something to be aware of. Their line runs pretty dark and it's very sheer and a bit orangey. So it just really didn't look that great on me. There wasn't any, you know how like sometimes it'll just kind of blur your face. I didn't feel that way with this. I felt like it tinted my face, but it didn't blur my imperfections. You know, I'm not looking for heavy coverage, but this just didn't work out for me at all. And it made me break out. Can you believe that? I was so irritated. I couldn't believe this made me break out. Ugh. So I used this like for I think three days before I started breaking out like crazy. So, and I can't return it because I already got rid of all the packaging and everything. So um, if anybody wants this and you think this would be a good color match, white peach, let me know in the comments below. Cause it's pretty much a full thing and it's a pump. So, you know, I mean, it's pretty sanitary. I do have super sensitive skin and I am incredibly acne prone and tons of people rave about this. So I don't know, it's just me, but you know, whatever. Anyway, if you want it, let me know. 
I have two of these Aveeno tinted moisturizers. I have one in medium and one in fair to light. During the winter, I'm a fair to light, and during the summer months, I tend to be more of the medium. I'm pretty sure that these are the only two colors that they come in, so not a very big range of colors here. But, you know, they do work for me. Um, they're both SPF 30. These are the, these are the positively radiant lines, so they have those shimmer flakes. Glitter, let's be honest, they have glitter in them. But I've never noticed it to be like, hey, glitter face. It's very finely milled, and you don't really notice it at all. When I first put them on, they look like they're going to be too pink, but then after 10 minutes or so, I feel like they adjust to my skin tone, and they don't look weird at all. I've been using these for I don't even know how many years. I love these. I just think that they are the perfect amount of light coverage where it just makes my skin look a little bit better, but I don't feel like it's so much coverage that I need to wear other makeup with it. So if I'm just hanging around the house, going to the grocery store, or whatever, I will put this on because it has SPF in it and it just makes me feel a little more put together, but I don't feel the need to put on even blush or mascara or anything. And they've never broken me out. I just, I really, really love my Aveeno tinted moisturizers. So I have this one from Rimmel. This is a BB cream, 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. This is SPF 25. Uh, this is in the color medium, and it's really dark. I, you know, I swatched them, like, and the light is too light, and the medium is too dark. I thought that maybe the medium would kind of sheer out, but it's a pretty thick coverage. It feels very silicone-y and creamy, so I don't know. This feels like it would be super nice, but it's just the wrong color for me, so I can't ever wear it. This one is from Leo Ellie. So this is a Korean BB cream, and this has SPF 30 in it, plus whitening and wrinkle care. This is triple the solution BB cream. I guess they have a, a couple different BB ones, and this has a really strong scent. It smells like baby powdery floral scent, and it's very pale. It's also very thick. This is like a full coverage foundation style BB cream. I feel like I don't need that much coverage, so I never wear it anymore. This is Benefit's Big Easy. This is bigger than BB, but it still goes in my BB pile. Uh, this has SPF 35 in it, and this is more of like a liquid to powder sort of a thing. And it's very lightweight, and it's like a thin texture. I really like the texture of this, and it has a decent amount of coverage. It's light coverage, but it's nice. It blurs your imperfections, makes your skin look soft and lovely. But the color is way too light for me right now. Maybe I can wear it in the winter again, but just way too light. And so, and then the last time I was at Ulta, I was looking at these, and I was, you know, swatching the other colors on my hand. And it went from like way too light to way too dark, and it was like too pink. I couldn't find a color that matched my skin tone, which I was really sad about. Because I actually really liked this, so that's a bummer. But, you know, maybe I can wear this in the winter again when I get pale. This is a sample that I got in like my birch box, I believe. This is from Marcel, and this is the Golden Glow BB Cream. There's a, They have a regular BB Cream in this one. However, neither of these have SPF in them. Hello! I thought that was the whole thing about BB creams, is you're supposed to have SPF. If this had SPF in it, I would buy this immediately, because I absolutely love the way it looks, the way it feels. It's just gorgeous, but it doesn't have any SPF in it, so I keep it around to wear at night. <laughs> and yet another Neutrogena. Uh, this one is the Visibly Even BB Cream. This has SPF 30. And it's just a really nice BB cream. I actually got this not that long ago, so I haven't used it that much. This is in light to medium, and the color does seem to work for me. It feels really nice. It's very lightweight. So, so far, I'm, I'm liking this one. And then I have my CC creams. So I have this one from Alba Botanica. This one has SPF 15 in it, and this is in the color light to medium. And it's kind of a, like a grayish tint to it. It doesn't make me look ashy, but it does, it's definitely not pink. It's a light coverage. This is another one that I just recently got and haven't used that often, but I do love Alba Botanica as a brand, and you know, so far I'm really liking this. This one is from Strivectin, and this one got fabulous reviews, like on Paula's Choice, this was one of their top CC cream. And this is the Advanced Anti-Aging Face Tint. This has SPF 30 in it. And this is in the color Medium. 
they only have two colors, a light and a medium, and the light is really light and the medium is pretty dark. It's way too dark for me, but it is really nice. So sadly, I will be returning this. And then this one is the one that I have been using most often lately. This is from Supergoop. This is their CC cream. This has SPF 35 in it, and this is in the color light to medium. And I just really, really like this. This actually reminds me a lot of the Alba Botanica one. They seem to be about the same color, about the same consistency. They're both paraben, fragrance, vegetarian, animal friendly. So these are on par, and this one's like, I don't know, $12, and this one's like $35. So if you don't want to spend $35 on the Super Goop, try the Alba Botanica. These seem very similar to me. But since I do have this one, this is the one that I've been using most often, and I really do like it. I just love the way that it goes on. It's very silky feeling. It doesn't feel too heavy or too light. I get a nice coverage without it being too foundation-y looking, you know what I mean? So this has been my favorite lately. So that is my collection of tinted moisturizers, BB cream, CC creams. I'm kind of obsessed with them if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Let me know if you have anything that you use and love. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!